the name David Thomas and some of the best known designs in Britain spring to mind. Think of the Sonata, the Impala, the Sigma 33, the Sigma 38, the Hunter 707, the list just goes on. Think a little bit further back, back into the heady IOR days of the 1970s. Boats like Intros, Quartos, Minadin and other extreme looking little quarter tonners and mini tonners also spring to mind. In fact, it's an extraordinary list of designs for an extraordinary designer. David Thomas has spent much of his life around Southampton, close to the Solent, and throughout much of that time he's been a member of the Royal Southern Yacht Club here in Hamble. After 25 years, the club thought it would be a great idea to celebrate his career with a rally. We thought it would be a great idea to catch up with him and hear some of the stories from an extraordinary career. Poland wanted a pretty little boat, that was what he said. Doesn't matter what it is. Long as a pretty little boat. So I designed him what I thought was a pretty little boat. He said, could the coach roof be a little bit longer? So I think we made it six inches longer. Because so, you don't want to squeeze more inside it than. But that was a good little boat. It was a different game huh? in those days. JOG. You know, I was a great fan of JOG at that time. And uh, Quarto. We did jog, a lot of jog racing in Quarto. I remember one awful night when we did a Cows Dinard race, and it blew so hard all night that David Pelly said, is this the smallest jib we got? And I said, yes. And he, that was the, nobody said any more after that. <laughs> so then we had the One Design Conference. Mm. Do you remember that? I do very well. We were talking about it only last week. At Elstrom. Yes, that was the 101. The 101, that's yeah, right. Yeah, Aphrodite 101. That's right. Mm. And that was when Hoppy and David King were sort of hatching ideas. David King wanted to build a, a boat. They said, would, it, you know, would that sort of boat be... I said, I said no, you know, that's not, it wants to be a bit bigger than that. So no, no point in a big yard like you building a little, building a little boat. And then they proposed to build another boat, which was too big, I thought. And they said, well, how are you going to choose? How are you going to choose? They said, but you want to build a lot. I said, well, you want it to be a one design. And one designs won't talk much about that. They said, well, how, how, do you, how, how, do you, how do you make a one design? I said, well, all you've got to have is a lot of owners who want to buy those boats. So the first thing you do is pin down a group of owners and produce a boat that, you know, is, you know, you, you've, you've selected them as people who might want that sort of boat. So you then design your boat, pick your owners, get them to form an owner's association and go ahead. And then you start the boat one day with five, as soon as, soon as five have been built, you have a regatta and say, you know, next week there'll be two more. And you know, the first 10 boats are on the water quickly. And that's what I've always done. I've always selected the owners and the boats that they probably want, talk to them about it, and see how they fit together, and then design a boat, and they, they'll have it. And that boat was the Sigma 33? That was the Sigma 33, yeah. Exactly. Now, IOR boats were getting a bit silly by then, and uh, that was the t at the time when a bit of cheating came into to IOR boats and ratings and that sort of thing. And people were saying, oh, I don't know whether I want to join that. But the idea of one design that couldn't have all this cheating, you know, it was built to a strict set of rules. And the strict people looking after those rules. And there was a lot, of, there was a lot more security in a one design. Mm. It took a, it took a you know, a bit of time for people to pick it up, but once it got going, they, you know, they couldn't see anything wrong, and the boats were all right, and they were... We took the very first one, I think, down to Lymington, and won the Lymington win Winter Series. They were well, the follow-up to the Sigma 33 was the Sigma 36, which was a very nice yacht. 
and I've always liked it and it's always been popular and people have loved it and they've gone cruising with it and sailing all around the world and that was, that was a boat that really I was proud of. <laughs>